Hi gorgeous souls and welcome to our very last Lola conversation. This is Lola conversation number 76. My name is Annika. If this is the first conversation you're tuning in, I am a witch, a soul led healer, an artist. I help others to live the life they want to live and that is in their soul blueprint um, while doing the same with mine. And so I follow the guidance that comes in every single day. These solar conversations were a part of this. Um, they are so led. I tune in and I channel through whatever wants to come through. For today, um, I was a little bit in my mind, in my perfectionist mind. I'm like, Ugh, can't we stop on the beautiful angel number 77? Can't we make that the last soul led conversation? Um, and the truth is, no, we can't. I have gone since the weekend through an amazing, incredible upgrade on a cellular level almost. It, it um, coincidentally, um, or not coincidentally, it came in with a new haircut which is like very short and I'm like still getting used to it. But since then things have happened that have triggered a lot in me and a lot has been um, by outside circumstances and by situations in my family and with my partner um, that have spoken to me on a very, very deep level. And so today is the first day that I'm not crying. <laughs> It's Thursday if you're watching the replay, if you're not live. It's Thursday. I have cried since Sunday night. I have cried and I couldn't stop. I could just stop to pick up the kids from the kindergarten and stuff like that, but not for long. Like the minute I would be out of sight of other people, the tears would start flowing again. There has been a massive, massive release for me over the last couple of days. Um, and so on Monday, when it was time for this conversation, for solar conversation number 76, I was like, I can't. I can't show up like this. I'm shaken up. I'm in a space of not knowing. I'm crying. I don't want to go on my live stream. Sometimes I cry on live streams and that's okay too. But this state I'm in, I am happy to share afterwards when I'm through to share, I think that's important to share too. Like I even, where I am on my journey, I still have these. I still have things showing up that I'm releasing, layers that I'm shedding. And this process is not, it, it's not comfortable. It is not, like I said, like this was the, I would say one of the biggest releases, if not the biggest release I had to date. And so I was crying. I was crying from Sunday evening until yesterday evening. So it only stopped yesterday evening, Wednesday evening. On Sunday evening, and I know some of you have been asking me, like, is everything okay between you and your partner? And I have to tell you, yes, it is. Um, the situation we had um, triggered something deeply in me. Um, which was I'm not seen, I'm not heard, my voice is not valued um, and my wishes are not, um, they don't get considered. And so over the last few days we have been in constant communication, I had beautiful support from my inner circle and um, I came to the conclusion that what, what um, happened there was like always, just something in the outside that reflected back what was going on inside of me. So on Sunday evening, I wrote a poem that came through. It wasn't directed at him, <laughs> although some of you have been reading it like that. Um, it was, on a surface level, it's directed at my partner, but on a deeper level, it's directed at myself and how I show up for the sacred union of my soul and my body in this lifetime. And so I want to read that poem to you on this very last solar conversation before I go into why this is the last one. 
um, if you're up for it. And with that background of like, you can listen to this on like a level of your romantic relationship or your primary relationship in your life. Um, or you can read it as the relationship between your soul and your body. So here it is. A nourished union. I demand a nourished union between you and me in this lifetime as equal partners, friends and lovers. So I want you to know that I refuse to live off the breadcrumbs of your time and energy that are left at the end of the day. To be put very last on the list, at the bottom, after the job, the sport, the hobby, the kids. Our relationship, from my perspective, is top priority. Showing up for you the best I can every day. That's what I'm committed to. I'm not going back to minimal effort land. I want to play in I fully show up realm. So, are you coming to join me? Is it, are you going to join me? Oh, and you're invited to join me. So, are you coming? <laughs> That's the end. Well, you were in the way of it, so I couldn't read it. <laughs> this um, shook up a lot of things. And um, yes, my partner and me, we resolved some things and shifted some things that were really, really helpful in getting into from my perspective, a healthy relationship and not a codependent or controlling one, which we have been working over the last um, decade together again and again and again. And we have come to a point where it's really deeply, deep, deep running patterns. And um, I had beautiful support. I had beautiful support to come to this place of clarity. I feel very clear and very excited. And with that clarity, with this upgrade, with this removing of that layer of this deep, deep core belief I had, um, which was very, very painful and difficult, and I needed a lot of support. I needed energetic support, the energetic support I have in place. I needed um, a really long conversation with a friend to actually dig down deep to what, what is actually going on here. <laughs> And I needed all the crying. I needed all the crying. I needed the release. I needed the tears to wash away the pain that was connected to this deep core belief that I had. And I feel much clearer now on what needs to be prioritized and what needs to be done. And um, this, making this the last so the conversation was part of it or is part of it um i know there will be other live streams you won't get rid of me you will hear from me um but it did in a different capacity in a different format i don't know yet how that's gonna look like and i love that i love that it's not clear to me right now i just know that i need to make this space that i need to let go of this beautiful concept that has served me for the last four months now i think four months um, a little bit longer even and i need to make space for something new to come through so i'm finishing up the solar conversations with a really really important one that i think needs to be had um, it ties in with my experience over the last couple of days and it also ties in with something that I have seen over and over and over, not only in like the normal, the normal, the non-awake, whatever you want to call them, the non-woke people, um, <laughs> the people who are not aware that they can create their own reality, not only them around me, but especially the people who are aware that they can create their own re reality. That, or they are the creator of their own life, they have their own life in their hands. And um, what I have seen over and over again, and it has been brought so clearly up in my face again by a Netflix series 
Um, I watched Netflix yesterday. I like I just went in and I was like, okay, I want to watch something. And um, Back with the X, it's called, I think. Um, and I love like because we are going in a new phase in our marriage and our relationship. Me and my lover. And so I was curious, like, how are other relationships? How do they look like from the inside? And this show shows it um, very much so. It shows, like, what they went through before. And there's this one couple, and they're really lovely. They have open hearts. They have a good time together. And there's so much pressure on the highs. Like, there's, like, they have these rules, like, um, this is a happy house, so no moodiness allowed. Or um, this, um, I don't want to fight. Never, I want to fight never again. Like I don't never want to have a fight again. And all these things. And I see this over and over again. The chasing of the highs, only happy, never sad, N always agreeing, never fighting. And here's the thing. Um, geez, geez, keys, um, just wrote, I bet you're a freak, I like your accent, well, thank you very much, I don't agree with you, <laughs> and if you don't know me, I don't think you have the right to judge me in any way or form, I reject that label of a freak, although I don't have any, um, resistance to that word. I really like that word. I don't like the label on me though. Oh, okay, so where were we? Oh yes, yeah, the chasing of the high. So for me, it's, um, there is beauty in the lows. And we can't, we can't really, we can't really appreciate the highs when there are no lows. And I'd rather provide a safe house and a safe home than a happy home, to be honest. I'd rather provide a safe home where everybody is safe to express their unique self on that day. Um, I'd rather provide a safe home than a happy home. For me, happiness means to be myself in that moment, whoever I am in that moment. And um, for others, I think that's the same. And that doesn't mean it's always happy. Um, that's a lot of pressure. It's all, it also means there is room for disagreements. If, like, if there is not the pressure of like, don't let, don't let, let's not fight, there is like, okay, there need to be discussions to figure out how can we relate to each other. There need to be fights to bring up stuff that can be looked at and actually resolved. I mean, like, Dennis and me had a huge fight on Sunday. On Sunday evening, Monday, Monday over the day even. Like, it went on and on because we were miscommunicated. Like, there was a disconnection in the communication. And so my message for this last solar conversation um, before I wrap up this beautiful last solar conversation is that there is no point in always chasing the highs and trying to get to the next high as quickly as possible because on the lows and in the normal moments and like life consists of going to the toilet changing pooey nappies if you're a parent <laughs> you know like there will be always moments that don't feel extremely in ecstasy and wonderful and wow you know and that's okay too that's okay too that needs to be okay because these moments, as much as the high moments show you who you are in your wholeness, in all of who you are. And so when we reject these moments, when we, good morning, Nicola, 
Hey gorgeous, I'm glad you're joining in. <laughs> when we reject those moments, we actually um, reject a big part of ourselves. And so by integrating that and actually looking at it and crying for three days like I did for the last three days, <laughs> we make space for something else to come through. And so my message for this solar conversation, before I wrap it up, is stop chasing the highs and embrace whatever is going on right now in your life. Of course, you can make situations better, you can take a deep breath and come back to your center, you can go like, okay, you know? And at the same time, the highs will be there and that's a wonderful knowing, isn't it? Like that knowing, having that knowing, the highs will be there as much as the lows are there. And that's life ebbing and flowing and like going up and down, up and down. And just sinking into that knowing actually gives me peace and makes me really take a deep breath and just handle whatever is in front of me and look it straight into the eye so I can get my get to know myself in that moment whatever the moment is if it's a high moment or a low moment I get to know myself better through it ah okay I didn't expect that weird moment in the live stream when there was this random comment um, I have felt very very safe um, in this space during my live streams and I know they're changing and I know the solar conversations have to go have to end have to stop to make space for another kind of um, live stream and I don't even know what that means or what comes up or what is coming and um, I have to sit with it a little bit longer so for the next couple of days maybe weeks you won't see you will see posts of me um, a life is still happening it's like I checked in with it I check in with, with it every single day I'm like this like I'm preparing for this right and they go like yeah but Ori needs to go to kindergarten first and I'm like okay that's fine. So a life is still coming. Ori is starting kindergarten tomorrow. So my baby is starting kindergarten tomorrow. And all my focus will be on that for the first little while. And to keep the other routine running as well. Um, with me not burning out, which is a big piece. Um, and which needs to be addressed. And I will also use that time to evaluate, to look at what work with the solar conversations um, what can I improve with the next next series starting or the next format coming and after a resting period I will be back and then of course a life is starting in March so a life is my new program journey experience or however you want to call it it's called tuned in turned on a life I will show up every single day for the women who sign up for this wonderful experience. Um, I will show up in a clear channel space where we can have conversations that are not surface level. So we will have conversations um, that are going deep very, very quickly. It's 30 minutes every day from 11 to 11.30 Berlin time. And we start on the full moon in March, which is the for the spring equinox. Oh, Nicola, thank you. <laughs> Nicola just wrote, I reported the unusual comment. I don't feel it is appropriate, whatever form of love. Um, we have you. Thank you for this series. It's been so valuable. Thank you so much for showing up for so many of the conversations. Um, although I popped in here at any time of the day and at very random times and the topics were very random as well and I sometimes felt like what 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 is coming out of my mouth right now 
you were here and you supported me and thank you so much for supporting me in that way too um that i feel very loved right now um and the tears are burnt you see <laughs> i'm tearing up right now for you having my back thank you so much oh, i know this is part of um what is coming for me that there will be conversations and videos that others um, others don't agree with and I have to get comfortable with that and that's okay too because you know I'm putting myself out there in a larger sense and um, really want to deepen into my business and my flow and my channel then this is what is coming not only love not only light but the darker sides as well the hatred the weird comments the sexual um uh um how do you say that the sexual approaches all that um and i'm i feel almost like i have i have upgraded to that so that was just a beautiful confirmation for me that I'm reaching a wider audience and I'm ready to reach a wider audience um, and that will be through the new through the new live streams that I have no clue how they're gonna look like there's also things to be created I know I have to create a couple of videos which is really really exciting and um, they are part of leading into a life um, which I'm very, very excited about as well. So keep, have, have a look out for me. <laughs> I will be showing up in a different way, in a different shape, in a different form. Still me, just more of me. And we'll see what comes. Um, is there anything else I want to say? Oh yes, if you want to join a life, and you feel the call, it's 66 euro for 66 conversations, 66 days, which is over two months of a daily conversation. We will have a Facebook group where we will continue the conversations that we have on that day. Um, there will be, the replays will be available and I will draw, I will do live streams with uh, card drawings on new moons because I feel that's the most beautiful time for live streams with cards and I love to do them and I love delivering the messages so that's all part of the life experience if you want in there is no offering page yet I get to it as soon as Ori is lived in in kindergarten and I have those be that beautiful time in the morning to actually stick with it and not work on it like three minutes here and two minutes here um, and when it's up, I will post it. But if you want in, if you already know I want in, message me and join the group that is forming already for this gorgeous experience. Now, this is, this was my last solar conversation. I'm really excited for what's coming. I'm really thankful for my, grateful for the beautiful women who have shown up live um, on these conversations have joined me on the women who have messaged me especially in the, at the start when I started doing these solo conversations and said how valuable and how beautiful they are for them and how much motivation they um, bring and how much knowledge they bring as well and um, you have kept me going and I also know there is something new and beautiful and exciting on the horizon so thank you so much i'm so grateful for the community that has already formed um, for the solo community um, for all the women and the few men that are around me around us and i'm also grateful for myself for showing up um, and to play in the fully show up bro <laughs> that's it for the last time, for now, remember, you are love, you are loved, you're guided, you're supported.
everything is happening for you and I love you I do I know you're doing the best you can in every single moment and let's keep it that way and follow your soul don't chase the highs but follow your soul whatever that means for you in this moment I'm sending you so much love so much love and light and Ari is awake so I'm off take care Mwah.